Yo, 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 what up, what up? It's your boy Crazy Al Kane. Here with Uncle Vin Rock. Yes, sir. We back at it again. Yeah, this bike stuff is real, y'all. It's real. This time we in Jersey. Yeah. He came to my hood. <laughs> he got the L-Town Slugger prototype joint right here. Yeah, this is Mafia Bikes. Yeah. The Willie bike. And I'm rocking on the, the prototype Lordy bike right here. Man, that sugar cane joint is crazy. Yeah, man. Got the nice speed line sweet. parts on there looking real butter. You're gonna have Vinny riding this one too. Yeah, man. So tell me about this uh this ill town joint. So um, you know, while we were working on the sugarcane naughty BMX bikes, uh I, I bought a bike during the pandemic. I bought a mountain bike. And then my guy down in um the Jersey Shore, CAG Cycles, Danny, he told me about mafia bikes and how they were trying to break into the US market. Mm -hmm. So I told him I was working on BMX bikes, so he was like that. Let me hook you up with the guy. So, um, you know, I spoke to the owners of Mafia Bikes and, uh, hey, we came up with this, you know? Mm. So this is Slugger. This Illtown Slugger's movement, KG and I have. So we have a management company and record label. You know, KG, my DJ and producer for Naughty by Nature, he loves developing new artists. So we felt this Slugger project would be the perfect project to, you know, break new artists. Right. So out the box, man, Mafia Bikes, we put together an Illtown Slugger bike. You know what I mean? Wow. And uh, we're going to keep rocking out, man. Some Naughty Bikes, some BMX joints, <laughs> some Slugger Bikes, and keep it rocking. We doing our thing, too, with the oh, Naughty the Bike right here. joints are crazy. Yeah, man. man. Then you just showed me the black frame. That's yeah. ridiculous, bro. Yeah, so we're doing two colorways for the sugar cane by nature joints. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. We're doing the uh, yellow and black, and then we're doing the reverse with a, with a black and yellow. And I'm working on doing the prototype for that. And that's going to be Vinny's bike. We're going to be riding around because Vinny told me he want to start riding for real, for real, and want to start racing and stuff. Yeah, man. Well, I just want to get familiar with the track, you know, being able to go because, you know, when we were in Howell, New Jersey, I saw how they were killing those tracks, man, mm -hmm. and all different ages. So I want to get out there and just learn how to ride mm -hmm. on the track. I'll start there, you okay, know what I mean? Learn how to ride so you don't want to fall. You want to be able to handle a track. Well, and I know, you know, you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. So right, right. I know I'm going to take a few spills, <laughs> but that's where I want to be first, you know, then right. maybe I could ride some now, I can't even race the eight-year-olds, man, because they fly out there, too. So I got to go. Your man was my age. He was like 50-something years old. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I got to race guys like him in yeah. my age group. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, there's some other hip-hop heads who have an interest in uh, BMX and possibly hitting the track, too. So maybe we can have y'all race each other or something down the, down the road. Yeah, yeah. You were telling me you got a uh, relationship with Just Blaze, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good. And you know, he's a studio rat like KG, so I'm sure he appreciates getting outside, man, getting some of this fresh air instead of being locked in that studio. So, yeah. What's up yeah. with KG? Is he riding? Is he, is he getting busy? Nah, K doesn't ride, but he likes the willy bike. He likes the willy bike concept. But um, yeah, I'm going to get him going. I'm gonna get everybody going. And, and Vin, like you said before, he doesn't have any like real BMX experience like that. He know how to ride a bike, but he don't have no real experience like that. So we're gonna be starting from scratch, man. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him right, though. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I need to, man. And while I'm home, you know, for the rest of this summer, it give me a chance to work off this COVID weight. You know. <laughs> right, right. You know, I'm really excited too. To um, you know, when we roll out these sugar cane bikes, mm -hmm. definitely gonna lock in with uh my hometown here be East Orange, East Orange Recreation and get our young people <clears throat> involved in this BMX uh, game. So I want to really kind of put together a team and like sponsor a BMX team. You know what I mean? That'd that be would dope. be dope. That'd be real dope. And get our kids in there. So we have a group of bikes that the kids can continue to use. Yeah, that'll be a good start. Hey, hey. How you doing, brother? <laughs> doing, bro? All right. I was really impressed by how Everyone was going around that um, track, man. So, uh -huh. and then the pump, you know what I mean? Pumping, pumping right. and pumping. So, I just want to learn how to tackle the track. Gotcha, gotcha, and once gotcha. I'm able to do that, 
I know they don't really time themselves, it's just about the race, but I want to time myself to see how fast I can get, get around the track. All right, so we're going to have some time trials with Vin Rock at the track. But before we get on track, we got we to get the skills right. And the first thing that you need to get comfortable with is you got to get comfortable with standing up on the bicycle. You right. got to be able to stand up on the bike and pedal around and feel comfortable doing that. That's the, like the number one, first, first, most important thing to do. Because that's where all of this stamina or stability comes from, right? Just standing because it's not a bike that you necessarily sit down on. When you're on the BMX track, it's not about sitting down. You got to stand up and be able to maneuver over those jumps and stuff. A lot of people come on the track and they, they stand up and they don't do it all the time. So they, they wind up messing up. So it's all about standing up. So let's, let's, let's see you stand up on the bike real quick. All right, all right. <laughs> we got to switch bikes in there because we got to get you used to that 24 inch. We gotta get you used to that 24 inch. Alright, so his stance looks alright. That's that's the stance you're supposed to have on the bike. Yeah, I remember this from my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> Standing up, being able to maneuver left and right, and just getting real comfortable with that and used to that. And then we can go into the next part. Then next we have thing to get... I know I'll be able to do the handstand like yeah. crazy y'all can. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> then we gotta get some protection. You gotta buy some protective gear. Yeah. You know, we gotta get the knee pads, the elbow pads. You know, he's got to perform too, sooner or later, so oh, we don't I want him- I want the shirt too, you know, the um shirt, the whole merchandise oh, yeah. again. Yeah, yeah, oh, we got to get the jersey and all that too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, we got to get the protective gear, that way he ain't limping on stage while he's doing, you know, hip hop array or something like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> So I have my seat post up because I was filming. This is the director's seating position, <laughs> the cruising position, but for Vinny, he is barred from riding this bike with the seat up, he got to stand up the whole time. Exactly, That's exactly. part of the training. That's, that's that, I'm, I'm gonna be like with, uh, the militant trainer over here. Exactly. We got the Supercross anodized gold seat post along with the Supercross seat, which he will not be utilizing today. <laughs> <laughs> we got the Truth BMX quick release seat post clamp looking real fresh. I'm about to hop on that Illtown Slugger joint. Bong, Ooh. bong, bong, bong. There it is. <laughs> first trick and you want to always keep your stance the other way that way right there can mess you up so you want to always stand that way when you ride this yep. way yep you always want to stand that way yeah you got to get used to pedaling at a higher speed oh at a higher speed right yeah because when you race you're going to be cranking it out any way you can get a pedal in with on the berm on the straightaway you want to crank as fast as you can but you definitely want to get used to pedaling standing up hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I know yeah. it's rough for me out here. I live right on the park. Uh-huh. I don't come out as much. And I realize that when I do come out, I realize people don't even <laughs> know that I live so close. Oh, right, right. It's surprised to see me, you know? <laughs> Let me see you get some pedal, get some cranks in. Oh, I can get some cranks in. There we go. This isn't bad though, standing up. Yeah, once you get used to it, it's, no, it's not even a big deal. Right. And you actually look a lot more stable on the bike than some people I know. <laughs> you look real stable right now. Right, Some right. people be just fidgeting and looking real weird like that on the bike. So you were, so you were ahead of the game, man. You were ahead of the game right now with that one. Yeah. <laughs> In a couple That's of right. weeks, Ben gonna be doing sprints out the gate. Sugar cane joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, so now you know I have no excuse. I live right on the park. Right? Yep. So how you feeling so far now, like since you've been up, since you've been standing with it the whole time now? Yeah, no, this is good. It feels just like regular. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. All right, so let's speed up now. Oh, I can speed up. So if you do this. Uh-oh, uh-oh. different leg exercise. Yeah. Now I can feel standing. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. By nature, but yeah. <laughs> so this will be my training track <laughs> when I get my bike. I have to do like five laps around this whole park. Yeah. Standing up. 
So, I had a show called the Hip Hop BMX Challenge where I had cats from the, from the hip hop culture do some uh, time trials and stuff like that back in the day. Uh -huh. Had Eric Beasley on there and C Truth, Kev Lawrence. We about to bring it back. Nice. And Vinny's training right now. So C Truth, I know you're gonna be looking at talking smack. <laughs> so, Vinny's training right now. I'm training. He's training, so C, you gotta, you gotta get right, C Truth. <laughs> I'm gonna be 30 pounds lighter too. <laughs> And he looking better than you on the bike right now. The way he's standing on it, he's standing nice on it. Uh-oh. Got the downhill going. Then it's out. Oh, word. Life is a gift, roll it, dice and gamble. I come to be the example. Light it like a candle. Judge, I never give you more than you can angle. Listen, this again, utter than lava. Them say, where the girl, them grisada. Mama say, you're gonna be just like your father. Pity she no know, say, we are go harder. Uh. Ambassador, cross border. And if them kill me, I am here to be a martyr for your starter. And them can't out it, can't live with it, but them can't live without it. I'm the real outlaw, make them scream and shout. It, but not every enemy, anything against me. If I shouldn't say it, then please silence me. Man, pay for live and them give it violence free. Them, I teach we hate for we in a elementary. Them, not in school like jail and penitentiary. This one sound like a real document. You got it. You got it. Yeah, you got it. Respect. No, yeah, no. Man. Respect. So the Instagram is 01 Expert. TRO, the real outlaw, hardest reggae artist in Jersey, Essex County, baby, Ill Town Prince, you heard? Because I'm out here with one of the guards, you feel me? Couple laps, then was going in. Now he's kind of feeling it right now. Yeah, I'm feeling it. He's feeling it. The epitome of out of shape. <laughs> but I'm getting there, folks. It's a good workout. The best thing about it is I live right there, so I don't have far to go. Right. That was a lot, you know, when you first jump on it, then it starts to catch up with you a little bit. Especially when you had double Tito's and tonic last <laughs> night. <laughs> <laughs> so I know prior to working out on the bike, no drinking the day before. Cause it'll come up out of you. <laughs> That's what all this sweat is. But it's good, I gotta get it in. Get back with mother nature. Exactly. Mother nature by nature. You know when you're working out, when you sweat, you gotta sweat. Since uh, COVID, we haven't been doing shows. So I usually get my cardio in on the weekends, you know? Right. Do like two, three shows a weekend, hour, hour and a half sets. And we get drenched out there, especially, you know, depending on the venue and the climate. Mm -hmm. I could take my shirt and wring it out after every show. Mm. So I miss that. I haven't been able to do that. Well, this is cool. This will get you ready for the, for the, for the shows then. Yeah. Yeah, doing this. Definitely. It definitely gets you ready for the shows. So now I have three different styles of bikes, a BMX, uh, um, Willy bike, what do they call that, a cruiser? It's a BMX cruiser, but people call it Willy bikes. And then I have a mountain bike. Mm -hmm. But then they recruit me to the uh, bike clubs. Yeah, yeah. So I have to get one of those bikes, a riding bike. What do they, they call those riding bikes? A road bike? bike? Huh? A road bike? Like just for doing miles? Yeah, yeah. All right, y'all, so it's crazy how came, Ben Rock. First day of training right here. Hey, man, I almost threw up, but. <laughs> <laughs> it was all worth it. <laughs> Much needed workout too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was dope. Yeah, so we're gonna be doing more of this. I'm gonna take Ben to some uh, some trails, show him around, and we're gonna do some more paths and, and get used to riding the bike. And then eventually we're going This is all gonna lead to him going around the track and seeing how he does. Just going around the track and seeing how it is. But I gotta give you props though. You look good when you were standing up riding though. Straight, yeah. straight up and down. Yeah, you look good when you were standing up. You didn't look, you know, sketchy and loose and stuff. You look good standing up. So that's a good. We that's good... called that's called muscle memory from my childhood, yeah, you know. Yeah. So, in between time, I'm gonna be out here in this park, up and around this area, 
using my little wheelie bike, using my uh, mountain Mount bike in the meantime. Mm -hmm. Then we getting ready for part two of the Sugar Cane by Nature BMX joint. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait for that one. I'm gonna uh, be rocking. I, I don't even know if I'm gonna show you guys yet until I get all the parts for it, because that thing is exclusive. Wait till you see that bike, it's gonna be crazy. And I know I'm in my hometown, man, but I think, you know, me and uh, Al, we were stunting today, <laughs> showing everybody these bikes. Yeah. I only got about 10 more laps before somebody tried to jack me, with all due respect, you know what I mean? They mean like, part of me then, but you know what time it is. <laughs> so we gonna have to get them on the market ASAP. Exactly, okay. exactly. All right, so it's crazy Al Kane, shakingplane.com, CAC TV, Naughty by Nature, Representing right here. Stay tuned for some more joints, man. Check us out, NaughtyByNatureStore.com, NaughtyByNature.com. Hit us up on Instagram at NaughtyByNature number four ever. And yo, get ready. It's our 30th anniversary. We got tons of things moving. Yeah. Actually, me, Kay, and Tretch are in the studio tomorrow morning, 11.30 a.m. 30th anniversary album, 30th anniversary mm. documentary, mm. VH1 Behind the Music coming mm. up this September, y'all. Peace. A lot going on. Uh, matter of fact, we haven't talked about KG and Tretch, but we gotta get them on the bike too. You know, we can't just have Vin doing this. We gotta get them all, you know, see who see who winds up being the nicest on the bike. We might have to do something like that. That's right. And as a matter of fact, you know I was talking about somebody who's gonna jack me for one of those bikes. It's gonna be those two guys. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we out. Back to you, Billy. <laughs>